King's Restaurant is an island institution that has been serving up local comfort food for some 40 years now. Phil Schmidt started it all when he recruited a group of young men who worked with him in the restaurant business in Honolulu to help him open a new restaurant at the Gibson's department store complex. And I had an opportunity to come out here and uh, we decided, I decided I was going to do it and I went to these guys and said, do you want to come? You know, and they were young and maybe a little dumb at the time, thinking, sure, why not, it's an adventure. And it was an adventure. It was. The early years were interesting. In fact, as luck would have it, just a year after King's opened, Guam was devastated by Super Typhoon Pamela. But that wasn't even the biggest challenge of those early days. Schmidt says it was hiring local staff. We would go to hire a, uh, a, a kid, you want to be a busboy. Well, could I wash dishes? Because nobody would see him if he was washing dishes. But to work out here and have to pick up plates and that, it wasn't part of the culture. It was a little bit maybe, I don't want to say degrading, but it wasn't something they were used to doing. But over time, that was important because without that local face coming to the table and saying, good morning, would you like some more coffee? The locals would never really fully accept us. Serving the locals was the foundation of King's business strategy and what has sustained it for the past 40 years. One of the most successful innovations is when the restaurant decided to go 24 hours. Schmidt says that's when things really took off literally and figuratively. And then all of a sudden, two o'clock, the bars closed, and then it, we went from empty to packed. You know, and Late you just night never guess. knew, you know, you got people out there, and you never knew what was gonna happen. King's was originally supposed to be a Smitty's Pancake House, but Schmidt says his partners disagreed about expanding to Guam, so he partnered instead with Bob Tyra, the founder of King's Hawaiian Sweetbread, and named the restaurant after him. But after more than a decade in Guam, Schmidt sold the business to one of the guys who first came out here with him, current owner Dave Alcorn. I just look at it now and I'm really proud of what, uh, you know, David and his wife and their group and the management. I mean, they've Chuck managed e. to build a, a, an empire, a small empire on, a, on, on the island. So I'm proud of what they did and I'm glad I could give them a base to start from. I mean, you know, it's kind of like you put a, put a rock on the river and walk across. They just kept walking. I think our ability to adapt, being an independent operator, has made us the long-term brand that we are right now. Um, and then along the way, you know, we've had other franchises that have taught us industry technology that we probably wouldn't have learned as an independent operator. And, and we've adapted those industry technologies into our independent King's operation. The expansion includes franchise restaurants such as Chuck E. Cheese and Ruby Tuesday and a food service contracting business. But Alcorn says they still trace all their success back to the original Kings. Well, this has always been the cornerstone of the Guam presence, I think, this brand has, right? So, uh, and that's what's remarkable about the 40-year history, the four decades that we've been here, is that, uh, you know, if you count them, it's probably 17 different businesses yeah. that this brand has touched or been involved with because it was the central core of, of what we did. And no conversation about Kings can end without talking about the food. Alcorn says there's one dish in particular that has stood out for him. I think everybody has it on their on their menu in Guam now, but a Hawaii guy that Phil hired, a chef actually, that came out I think in late 70s yeah. and you know put together fried rice a la mode and the dish that we know today with the Portuguese sausage and the eggs. So that's been a staple. So after four decades with Kings, in which he was fired twice and hired back twice, Alcorn says as they celebrate their 40th anniversary, the future still looks bright. Surprising enough, the last two years, uh, the brand has really, really done well. Uh, again, uh, really well, and we're really pleased with it. So, you know, I think the future um, is, you know, a, another store, um, some innovation changes, and then, you know, it's probably time to pass the baton off to my kids, right? For KOM's Business Matters, I'm Nestor Lacanto.